The Ravens would win the game last night over the Steelers. ESPNW columnist Kate Fagan now joins us this morning. And Kate, what's your reaction to Ravens fans supporting Rice, wearing the jersey, and that one woman justifying Rice's actions? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised by it, and I'm certainly not going to go down the road of pitting women against women, because I think everybody who has an opinion about Ray Rice comes to that opinion through their own life experiences, and so it's, it's really not going to move the conversation forward to judge those opinions. I think what we need to do is peel back and really talk about the, the culture that exists here within football and how much um, this story is really highlighting that. You look at Paul George's tweets yesterday that kind of created this gray area about whether domestic violence is wrong or not. And it seems to be a very black and white issue when you talk about is violence against women right or wrong. I think most people would say it's wrong. And yet in this culture, we've created this gray area where we justify the behavior and we refuse. Every time we do that, we refuse to actually look in the mirror and figure out why this is happening. I mean, the, the numbers from the World Health Organization right now, almost 40 percent of women murdered in the world are murdered by intimate partner. So yes, people are wearing Ray Rice jerseys and justifying that behavior. And really, to me, that highlights a question we need to ask, which is, why is this issue not as black and white as it should be? Yeah, you mentioned that. So how would you describe or how would you change this culture if it's not a yes or no black and white issue and, and there is that gray area? Well, I, I think right now we're talking so much about firing Goodell or punishments, you know, should it be a three game, a two game, a six game, a full year ban? But I think that's a little reactive and not proactive. I mean, domestic violence is, is, is something that happens in anger in the moment. And it's, it's very unlikely that perpetrators of domestic violence are worried about whether it's going to be a two, a six, or a 12 game suspension. This is behavior that is happening at the grassroots level that is born through years of our culture like raising men to want to not be like women and using language like sissy and you throw like a girl that demean women. These are all contributing factors. And I think if we want to hold the NFL's feet to the fire over this issue, we shouldn't be looking at the number of game suspension because I don't really think that's going to change the problem. I think holding the NFL's feet to the fire should mean getting them to throw the kitchen sink at domestic violence, to invest millions of dollars in grassroots organizations in going into middle schools and high schools and colleges and talking to young men about dealing with anger about how they treat women. I think that's where you're going to see change. I think that right now all of this reactive behavior is not going to change it as much as going in and, and going into the school systems and the younger spaces and really reprogramming how we raise men. Kate, on the NFL level, the